Gerbigly! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. I'm once again playing another random one-shot, this one also found over in Game Jolt, and it's right in the browser, it's based off the Unity engine. It's a game called Strange Climber, and it's not even actually a game. Uh, according to the dev, this was actually a bug that came along uh, when he was just testing out some stuff. Um, he's building a procedurally generated first-person exploration climber, and uh, most of the things, most of the content constructs that are generated by his engine uh, end up turning into like uh, alien looking shopping malls or skyscrapers, things that are semi-recognizable. They have ramps, they have uh, facades, like building facades that, that make a lot of sense uh, to the human brain. Um, this was a bug where it procedurally generated a random ass group of platforms and it basically uh, was just an accident. So he uploaded this to Game Jewel and it got on the front page and uh, I was reading his Twitter and I guess he was really confused by it as well. But anyway, this game is gorgeous. It's or this bug is gorgeous. It's it it is very alien looking. It's very foreign. It looks like something like a HP Lovecraft sort of city. Uh, just insane and beyond human comprehension. I love the ambient weird uh, looping music in the background. But this game is my dream. It's basically my dream. Um for those of you who know, even in games that don't allow parkour or don't encourage parkour, I try to find a way to parkour. I am the parkour master. I absolutely love doing parkour. So this game is completely meant to do parkour. So <laughs> I am do I'm right in my element right now. Now this game I, I did toy around with a little bit before I started recording. Um, so I'm not doing this completely blind. But uh, since it is randomly generated, sometimes there are dead ends. Like uh, right now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to jump up onto this platform right here, but you can jump pretty freaking high. So, oh no, I bopped my head on it. Um, now, fortunately, there was this ledge on the other side that let me not fall all the way back down and have to restart, uh, but it has really simplistic controls. I can jump, I can sprint, I can, uh, it's, it's you know, it's it's basic, basic WASD controls. Now, that was a pretty risky jump, and there's not like a crosshair in the middle of the screen, so it is a little bit difficult to, to tell where you are. Um, what I try to tend to do is look down, especially when making jumps, just so that I know where I'm landing, um, and it's really nerve-wracking. I mean, look at how high we are. If we fall, uh, you don't die or anything. You, you do restart from the very bottom, though. Um, now, let's say that we ran into a dead end. Oh, God, that was close, and creepy scary craziness um oh by the way there is no end goal there is no end goal so even if i get all the way up there to the top of the tower it's not like yeah you won there's not a kill screen there's nothing like that you just kind of keep going you just climb whatever you want like it like it's called it's called strange climber uh so you just kind of parkour everywhere there's no uh fall damage so you can just jump from platform to platform like i just did like you're in the freaking matrix oh make it damn it okay so we're back on the ground floor but let's say i'm like ah damn i don't really like this one i'm gonna go ahead and hit g and I reconstructed a brand new construct, and it was completely procedurally generated. It completely just made something randomly for me so that I can jump around and have fun on a different crazy parkour platforming thing. Uh, it's, it's a playground. This is a playground to me. I love it. It's so great. There's not an objective. There's not a plot. There's no story. There's no enemies or characters to interact with, which is, you know normally things that I hate when games lack those things, but this little bug has been, uh, I, I've been playing it for a little bit now. It's its a lot of fun to me. I really, really like the idea of just endlessly exploring your surroundings, and oh, god damn it, I can't believe I missed that jump. That's okay, we'll just jump over here. Um, and and it's great, and they, the environments, they kind of blend together, so sometimes it's really hard to make the jumps because you can't tell if there's a hidden platform there or not, and sometimes you'll, you'll land on something thinking that you're going to fall, and uh, you'll not have noticed that there's actually something there that's going to prevent you from doing so, which is great, and there's like these, it's like these little alien caverns that are just like, what's the purpose of this? Does it go somewhere? Does it not? Oh man, I guess it doesn't, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just go around here and explore a different part of it and see if we can get to the wide open sky. It's it's so fun. Oh man, parkour master, that's, that's what I am. I, I love it. It's the only thing I'll ever brag about in a game is, is doing parkour, even though I'm really not even that good at it. It's just something that I love to do, so uh, I'll, I'll intentionally break games to allow me to do parkour. <laughs> so uh, yeah, very relaxing, very zen experience though. If you guys are having a rough 
day, uh, an annoying day, uh, a stressful day of any sort, this, this sort of exploration game is really cool. I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. This For a bug, this is more beautiful than a lot of other indie games that are full releases out on Game Jewel. I hate to say that, but... Or I don't hate to say that. It's it's great to see that this dev is doing something really freaking awesome and uh, very unique and very fun. Um, but yeah, it's free roaming. It's a lot of fun. It's very cool. Uh, I probably seem a little bit overzealous at the moment because it's like 2 in the morning right now. Uh, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge video uh, it took me like two freaking hours to render because my Sony Vegas kept crashing and I have a bunch of friends on Twitter now who are like, oh, you should switch over to Adobe Premiere. And I'm like, eh, what if I could? I'm, I'm, I don't know if I will. I got to relearn it. It's going to be tough. But anyway, um, yeah, this, <laughs> this game is great. I'm not making much progress here. I did last uh, last file I started before I started recording. I was oh god, son of a biscuit! Um, I was really really high up. I I looked down and I got kind of vertigo uh, from from how how I little how high I was. Oh god, I went a little bit too far. It's so easy to over or underestimate where you're going. Oh wait, we were this way before. Damn it. <laughs> All right, and it's so easy to get lost because like I said, there's not like any waypoints. There's no objectives There's just pure Platforming goodness. It's just pure goodness. It's super fun um, It's like those parts in I think it was like Assassin's Creed Revelation that were the first person Platforming except those were kind of annoying and stupid puzzles and come on let me up on this beam thing uh, But yeah, uh, it's kind of like that except way more fun because that that game that game had some issues. Ugh. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, where 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 can where where can where can we go? I'm, I'm like a broken record right now. No idea what I'm doing. Oh yes. Okay. Big open space up here. Go up here and we'll. Huah! Yep. Oh man, you got these superhuman legs that let you jump super freaking high into the air, which is great. I I love it. I just, this is pure joy for me. This is pure relaxation. Um. And, and ultimate fear. And I wish I had a quieter keyboard because you can just hear my, my freaking spacebar like bonk, bonk, every five seconds. But that's, you know, what? It's, it's something. Um, if you choose to, if you're more comfortable with it, you can actually sprint by holding down the right mouse button uh, and jump by clicking the left mouse button, which I, I did in the beginning a little bit, but I, I find it really difficult to do it that way. Um, maybe just because it's not very traditional controls and I'm not used to that type of weirdness. Anyway, um, so we didn't make it very far up, but uh, if you guys want to try it yourself, uh, go ahead and do so. Like I said, it's over on Game Jolt. It's a lot of fun fudging hole in that platform. Damn it. With that, I think I'm going to actually call it quits on this episode. Um, I did just want to try to show it off a little bit and encourage people to get behind the actual project, which I don't know what the official name of it is, um, but I'll leave a link down in the description to uh, this game at least so that you guys can try it out. Um, anyway, guys, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.